Hi everyone, it's me Lyric. I'm here today to talk about food waste and this idea of perfect foods, which is what drives a lot of food waste. Food waste just means food that is thrown away or discarded without actually being eaten. And this can happen at any level of the food system. It can happen out in the field on the farm where the food doesn't look good enough so it's not harvested. It can happen at the grocery store where food you know, gets a brown spot and it has to be thrown away. And it can even happen in your own home as someone who purchases food or acquires food. So it can happen all along the way, but it's really important that each of us contributes um, at whatever level we're involved with food to reduce food waste. It's estimated that between 12 and 16 percent of households in America are facing hunger. To me that's completely unacceptable in a country where we produce enough food to feed people, um, but a large percentage of that is just being thrown away. It's estimated that we're throwing away around 40 percent of the food in this country. Please let that sink in. 40 percent. There's hope and there's solutions and it's all about redistributing that food and shifting your mindset. So Bounty and Soul is working on the redistribution side. We rescue food from grocery stores or distributors that would otherwise be thrown away, like something like a bag of cherries where there's like maybe one bad cherry in here, one cherry that's brown and mushy. Um, and we'll rescue that and we'll remove the bad cherry or the bad orange from the bag and still be able to provide this totally intact food um, and all of its nutritional benefits. On the household side of things is where we can really begin to shift our mindset around food and away from this idea that food has to look really perfect. Like, like I got this apple from my market box today. It's a nice beautiful apple and it has this brown spot on it right here. It's brown and mushy and I don't really want to eat that. You know, it, um, it's kind of gooey and it looks like it went rotten. But all I have to do is cut that brown part off and then the rest of the apple is completely edible. Same with this apple. There's some brown mushy spots and that's totally okay. Another example of that would be these green onions. Um, you can see there's some brown kind of just limp um, dry parts and you know I don't need to eat those either. They've lost their nutritional value, they've lost their flavor and that's okay. There's such a thing as as food that is no longer edible but all I have to do is just peel them or rip them off those brown tips and then I have this beautiful fully intact green onion and this would have been thrown away um, this was rescued from a grocery store so that's one of the ways you can start to reduce your food waste in your home um, so that you're not throwing away what they say like around 25% of food purchased and brought into your home can be thrown away um, just by things going bad in your fridge or what have you. Um, so I don't think you would want to go to the grocery store, right, and you buy four bags of groceries and you just like leave one in the parking lot and forget about it. Um, that's 25% of your food right there. You would never do that because you paid for that food and you want to honor that food and ingest that food. Another mindset that we can shift is that food only comes from the grocery store. Um, we have beautiful lamb's quarters, um, which went out today from Dr. John D. Wilson Community Garden. Um, this is what, like, what's known as a weed um, that grows freely and openly all over the place. Um, and it's highly, highly nutritious. Um, it has lots of the same vitamins and minerals as spinach. And it's really versatile. You can eat it raw or cooked, um, but this is disregarded as a food source um, in our modern society. And it's an absolute shame. This is considered waste or a weed or a nuisance. So that brings me to my third tip. Um, you can kind of expand and get more creative with the foods that you like and the foods that you're comfortable with. Maybe trying something that you previously thought was a weed. We have dandelion greens that went out at market today too. And maybe trying new recipes for food that you previously thought you didn't like. I specifically remember one time I cooked a cherry pie for someone who their whole life, they swore they couldn't stand cherries. And I didn't know this. And I cooked them a cherry pie and I used a certain spice blend that I had made and they loved it. And so it just goes to show you can experiment, you can get creative, and you can try foods, try eating foods in different ways or different recipes than you're used to, rather than just letting it sit in the fridge until it eventually goes bad. You can also reduce your food waste by preserving food, trying different preservation methods. If you just have too much of something and you know you can't use it, um, you could try 
you know, this doesn't work for all foods, but certain foods you can dry. This is some dried oyster mushrooms that I grew and I had way too many and I could not eat all those mushrooms at once. So I dried them and now I can, I can eat them in a year. And that was instead of throwing them away. Uh, you can also freeze foods. These are some um, sour cherries that I picked um, just about a month ago, actually. And I couldn't make enough cherry pies to use all of them. And so I froze a bunch. You can also try canning um, in jars. That's a fairly technical process, so you want to do a lot of research on that to make it safe, but um, it's a really amazing way to store food for a long period of time. It's mid-July now, and I just finished my last can of tomato paste from last summer, and now it's time for tomatoes again, so it can, it can really extend um, the life of your food and your food supply um, through times like the winter. You can also cook in bulk if you have a lot of one ingredient. I made um, like a a bunch of these size Tupperwares of kale chips because I had so much kale in my garden and I couldn't possibly eat it all at one time so I made a bunch of kale chips um, dried and then I can just eat those over time so you can bulk cook you can bulk cook and then freeze your bulk cook meals lots of them and you can also try meal planning so either when you go to buy all your food you already have kind of a menu laid out for the week or when you get your box from Bounty and Soul or wherever you receive your food you can look at the food you have and make a menu from that and then you know you're going to be accounting for all of the ingredients that you have. So these are just some quick tips. I'd love to hear your tips on how you're reducing food waste in your home or ideas that you have on how to do that on a bigger scale. You can leave them in the comments below and I would love to talk more with you. You can find my email in the description of this video. And thanks for being part of Bounty and Soul.